I come from uh, Brittany, my name is Philip, and I come from Brittany on, in 1988. In October, at this time, a very big storm happened. Um, it was very strange because with a big wind, 200 kilometers per hour, it destroyed many, many things, and the electric line went away. Um, we didn't have electricity for two weeks. So I'm living in a small village near the seaside of Brittany. But what happened was very strange because people, they had things in a freezer, but they couldn't really open the freezer and leave the things going out. So the first night after this hurricane, a lady said, okay, I've got things in my freezer, in my fridge. So, okay, all the village will go together and eat the things I've got because it will go off. So all the village went and eat at least more than 20 people went on eat together and speak together without electricity. So we had to make a barbecue, we cook the things we had in a place, on the things that the neighbors bring. And it was very funny because we had a good time, like in the middle age. So the lady, she had a nice house, we put, she had a cheminée, we put the fire on to keep us warm. And we had a very, very good feeling. On the day after, another lady said, okay, I've got things like that, so it will be my house this time. So every day for these two weeks, we eat in different places. And it was really good fun because when you realize that without any electricity, everything changed. You have no petrol, you have no water, you have nothing to really cook, like microwave or things like that. You have no computers, no mobile, everything just stopped. But you realize that you're beginning to know your neighbors. And that's a very funny thing because this time was not too long, not too short, but a good time to really have a good fun together. It was like going back in a time where people were talking each other. So some old people were talking about some old legends of grandparents used to say, or some experience about their life too. They said it was one fish, but on his life was very interesting because he used to be on sailing. So he was telling a story about his life because they had no petrol to put in a car, they couldn't really go and buy the bread. So I was one of the youngest in the village, so I was able to walk for at least uh, five miles to take the bread for them. And it was really a good fun for me because I take the bread for all the village. And that was really a good, good time for me to, to take a backpack and to go, to walk a bit and to come back with the bread. It was a very special time because these people, you see in their eyes, the happiness coming back. It, it, it just comes from your heart. It's the same when some trees fell down or things like that. We, we have to cut the trees to help the, the neighbors. And we help each other to clean the place because it was very messy after this kind of storms. But nobody was injured, so it was good too. Nobody died, nobody was really injury. Some houses were destroyed, not far away from my place. But you see, when these things happen, when you realize we are still alive, life is still coming on. And just the way that, it's not the way that you want to help. No, it's come from the heart. Это кажется, что нас это не достает. Mm -hmm. Катастрофы происходят там. Это сегодня не там происходит. Завтра они произойдут у тебя дома. Тебе поможет сосед? Нет, конечно. Если он будет таким же, как это. Правильно? Так что нужно сделать? В первую очередь протянуть руку дружбы соседам. Посмотреть вот так в глаза друг другу. Просто посидите, посмотрите, подумайте. Иной раз даже слов не нужно. Для того, чтобы понять, что все мы одной крови. Правильно? И вот тогда будет жалко соседа, если соседом тебя случится. Когда ты будешь готов помочь этому соседу, это будет означать, что и сосед сможет помочь тебе, если беда придет в твой дом.